Cheers. Mmm. So good. Lightning, thunder, and rain. Day three at sea. Oh my, is that going to ruin our day? <laughs> oh, Find God. out now on Out and About with GNB and Edited. <laughs> Well, this is uh, day three of our Mexican ruins adventure. That's what we're going to call it. And uh, I think my lens is going to fog up real quick like here. Yep. You can see the clouds out there. I cleaned off the lens a little bit. But it's a lot choppier than... A Ooh, I think I just saw a lightning out there. So we're heading towards where the uh, tropical rains are. I don't know if it's going to be called a tropical storm yet. We're trying to outrun it. Yeah. That was thunder. Did you hear that? Okay, let's try that again. So we're heading towards uh, Roatan, Honduras. We'll be there tomorrow. This is another day at sea. So this will be our third day at sea before we hit, hit land. And again, I just saw lightning out there and some thunder. So I think there's going to be a two to three foot swell. So not too bad today but it's rocking a little bit. Let's uh, just took a little stroll down Central Park while waiting for Bert to get uh, done getting ready for the morning. I'm gonna go out and have some breakfast here in a second but uh, there's a, a posy and it is raining. Yeah that's what happened it rained. So I just felt it on, felt it on my pate. Okay and I'll let the let the day begin. Okay, well, it's uh, about 20 after 8 in the morning, and you can already see it's 82 degrees out there, and humidity at 84%. Can you catch that? Sure. Yeah, and everything's uh, steaming up. My glasses and the lenses on the, on the cameras there. Uh, thundering and lightning out there. All right, well, let's get our day going. Well, that's the start of our day, right there. <laughs> and maybe somebody used it already. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, hopefully we won't. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Look at that. That's a, quite the uh, display there. Of, yeah, it's of fruit. just fruit. But the thing is, it's made <laughs> to look yum. Yeah, and it's made with love. I think is what it's called, yeah. I love is good. Yeah. So we got uh, watermelon and cantaloupe there and some blueberries, uh -huh. I guess. Wow. Yep, yep, yep. And I have everybody loves a parfait right there. It looks <laughs> like I got some cantaloupe in there. That's unusual. Wow. Yeah. Such. Goodness gracious. Look at there. Man. I know. I never <laughs> had this like that. What was that, like bananas? Yeah, bananas with some kind of yum yum on it. Ooh, wow. it's like oh, kind of like a powdered sugar glazy thing and um, hot syrup. And this adorable little bowl. <laughs> yeah, I it is. I can't wait to find that somewhere. <laughs> oh, you're going to get that on the, for home somewhere, huh? Exactly. Yeah, don't take it from here. Oh, they don't, no. <laughs> they don't tell you like that. And I got myself uh, some Eggs Benedict. Always kind of a love having the Eggs Benedict when we come on the cruises there. And it looks delicious. Oh, look, a little couple of, uh, almost looks like tater tots. A little side of bacon. And of course, you get a, well, these always adorable uh, jellies I and marmalades, them. huh? I love them. I want one. I'm gonna put one. I'm gonna put one in my purse. <laughs> That's probably right. I like that they always have these. Not always, but have this little map for you here at Central Park in case you get lost here on the ship. <laughs> But you have the rising tide, so that's a bar that goes up from the fifth deck up to the eighth deck there. A trellis bar. Chops Grill is here too. And Park Cafe. We'll have to take advantage of that here soon. Jamie's Italian Restaurant. And then a couple of shops over here. And lots of ducks, but uh, Bert hasn't found any yet. Unfortunate. Look at her. She's trembling because she can't find a duck. And, of course, the maintenance has to be done, too. How about that? Going to plant some new plants, it looks like. How cool is that, huh? 
You could probably hide a duck right in the uh, new plants right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, this is probably the place that we will be wandering through the most because we're on the on that deck. And here's Bert. She's um, going to hide a duck here. Right off the bat, looks like an easy one for somebody to find, right? Look at her. Sneaky, sneaky. Right in the tree there. Better hurry up before somebody's coming around the corner. <laughs> I hear, keep on hearing birds. I don't know if that is actual sound that they pipe in here or is it uh, actual birds that uh, made their stowaways on the uh, on the uh, ship no I, I've heard this before I think they have this bird sound oh okay well well I'm gonna find that out Let's I'll get that <laughs> unless you want to leave a comment down below and uh, tell me if it is uh, <laughs> yeah. real or not It's a little slippery out here. It, it, it rained earlier this morning, I'm pretty sure. Unless it's because they, you know, the other thing that could have happened, I suppose, is that they uh, um, watered the plants. And this is where the uh, rising tide bar comes up right here. It maxes out here on the eighth level. And then you can see up above here uh, the slides, the water slides up there. How cool is that? I don't think they've started. Well, it's, it's a flowing. So maybe they've started. That's pretty cool. Get to go out a little bit over the edge there. And Bert was hiding uh, some ducks. Might as well. I think there's a wildlife in there. I'm not sure. Look at that. Anyway, she was hiding some ducks. She's, she'll be very sad if she doesn't actually find a duck, huh? <laughs> and there she is. That's pretty cool, too. A wall of uh, foliage. <laughs> Ferns and such. Flora. Too cool. Of course, the other thing about Central Park is the uh, house balcony rooms as well. And again, the water slides up above. This would be probably a little bit more peaceful. I you know as far as boardwalk is concerned, you get all the rowdy noise, I would think. Here, you'd get a little bit more peaceful noise, along with the birdie sound. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you hear the birdies? <laughs> I know. Oh, uh, yeah. Are you coming? Well, this is Dazzles and just outside of uh, Central Park and so this gives a lot of music time in here every time we come back to our room in the evening uh, this is really kind of hopping in here as you can see of course every venue is going to have a bar and a nice staircase piano how cool is that of course the band can play over here as well and then what a view. So Dazzles on Deck 8, right by Central Park. Oh, no wonder, no wonder the staircase. It's, a, it's a, two levels. Lights up there. How cool is that? All right. Maybe we'll sit down here and enjoy a, a tune or two. This is the uh, ten dollars sale. I think if you buy four items, you get the uh, fifth one free, and you got some jewelry here. I don't know if it, no, this is not a part of that ten dollars sale, but you got some uh, Laramar jewelry, which uh, Bert likes, and uh, of course she's talking to people that uh, about her jewelry. <laughs> it's always fun. The uh, you know the, the the shopping not quite a shopping frenzy now the the uh, shopping frenzy happens at uh, at ten thirty, and so you have these beach bags. Oh, she should have waited. I think it's all the same type of thing, but she could have maybe got one of those free if she got you know an additional uh, four items. That was ten dollars yesterday, I think, when she when she bought that. So. 
Lots of fun stuff. Still got the uh, gold by the inch. I wonder if that's real gold. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, all sorts of things going on here. I'm going to buy a backpack today, I think, that says Royal Caribbean on it. It's not too big. It'll fit in the suitcases. So I don't have to take my uh, bigger backpack around on a fly trip, but have one packed uh, for little day excursions and hikes and such. So pretty cool. Always fun to do a little shopping, huh? Well, this is a boot and bonnet and uh, kind of the pub for the harmony of the seas. Yeah, they always have a pub and they have, uh, as you can see, they have music going on in the evening time where somebody will play some, uh, they usually play the 60s, 70s, 80s type of music in, in the pubs and so forth. But yeah, this is a pretty cool, cool setting here. And... Uh, Oh, I should look, take a look at that map, see if we're going to have uh, some storm weather coming up here. Tomorrow we're in Roatan, Honduras. And so hopefully, hopefully it doesn't rain too much. I probably already showed you these guys here before, but uh, they're quite athletic. They hold their poses for that long. I mean, it's for hours they can do that. Amazing. Well, this is uh, our third day. So day three, we're at sea again for three days in a row. And we're gonna hit uh, Sorrento's probably sometime today. We might eat our way through day three. Just been thinking about that. We had a nice uh, breakfast at Coastal Kitchen and pizza is on our menu. Gotta have some ice cream here pretty soon at the, uh, I'm not sure what it's even called, but the, you know, the, uh, where they dispense the ice cream cones and so forth. And again, the uh, shopping event that's going on right now. I don't know where Bird is. I think she's uh, wanting to buy something. She's got an itchy, itchy palm there for the... Uh, <laughs> back to the rings. There she is. But she just said she wants to save maybe some money and check out Mexico. And see if I uh, might find something there. Again, there's some Laramar over there. Yep. Always dangerous. This is uh, some sort of uniqueness here. <laughs> Eventually it'll come back around and uh, be a face. I think it's about ready to... Oh, look at there. Kind of. I thought it was going to be like uh, George Washington there on Mount Rushmore. But... And then Bert doing some uh, taping. She didn't do any buying. Amazing. What's wrong with her? That's how it works in this vicinity. Can you believe that? And we missed the Puyallup Fair. How fun is that? Huh? Yeah. Don't cry, honey. I'll get you. <laughs> you know, cotton candy is like the worst thing I've ever can think of. It's like eating a air sugar or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, the captain was saying that we'd get some rain today, most likely, and here it is. It's not terrible. It's not like pouring down, but it is raining. And so uh, hopefully we get very little of it in Honduras, if any. Uh, I think what I've seen so far is that uh, the rain's not going to be while we're there tomorrow. But that's AccuWeather, or not so AccuWeather, <laughs> how I say it. Fun stuff. Well, Bert was duck hunting. She tried all four of these uh, th same things, and she found one in the other one over here, well, which is pretty. I was checking to see if someone had taken my duck. Oh. So what my dad and it went. And you found it's one. Not my duck, and it's not my duck. Maybe the person that found yours left that one oh, as a little token. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we forgot to turn our microphones on, but this is where we decided to eat our way through the ship in earnest. Bon appetit! Now, 
is the uh, sports court here where you can uh, play. I'm sure they do volleyball and first basketball. And you have some ping pong going on over here. Can't see, see ah, there it is. You can see them a little bit on there through the reflection. And uh, boy, so it looks stormy out there. Oh, yeah. We have putt putt golf. This ship has putt putt golf. I forgot about that. It's our third day, and we haven't been up this part of the, the ship yet. So, and this is overlooking the uh, boardwalk. And this is again, this is deck 15. No, deck 16. What deck are we on? We're on deck 15, I do believe. And here's the zip line. Yeah. The zip line going across. I don't know if anybody's doing it. I think it's probably a little windy today. And then up here is. Coastal Kitchen, I think. That's where we are. And then you have rooms above that, rooms above that. And uh, you can see that the weather is a little bit inclement and we are barely moving here. And you can see the aqua theater down there. Harmony of the Seas. How cool is that? All right. This is where the, the float rider is, is when you go up the stairs here. There, you know, as most, like, hotels or the ship even, there is no deck 13. There was kind of a 13 on the ovation of the seas, but it was only um, the little sides that jutted out to get you a better view of the glaciers and so forth. Probably going to lose me as far as audio is concerned. Little flow rider action here on actually deck 16. Always fun to watch uh, folks do that. Watch out! Wipe out! Watch the instructor slide down the rail there. Oh wow, pretty good. You can always uh, check out the crowd too, uh, watching the, the fun stuff going on there. As you go up to the edge of the, the rail here on deck 16, you can see the uh, wake of the, uh, of the ship on the aft of the, uh, of the ship and places to put your drinks if you want to. At this point, we were moving pretty slow, maybe about two knots or so. Uh, the captain was slowing way down, trying to avoid uh, Hurricane Helene, uh, which he did a great job at. So you can see as we uh, pan over uh, the ocean here on the Harmony of the Seas, that's the abyss, which uh, starts on deck 16, and you get on mats, and you slide all the way to the bottom at deck six on the boardwalk. Uh, double side. This actually has two flow riders. So the big Oasis class has the two flow riders, where most of the other ships, I think, only have the one. Icon. And got to be a little careful of the wet spots around this area. And again, it has been raining a little bit, so again, you just want to be a little bit careful about that. Again, from the uh, other side. What would uh, a cruise ship be without a mini golf course on it? You know, the deal about it, if, if that's the uh, the hole itself, <laughs> should be able to get a hole in one on every last one of them, I guess. I don't know. Now, cruise ships without these on it, we were the last one we were on, Ovation of the Seas, didn't have a mini golf. So, always fun. <laughs> As I say, always fun. I don't think I've ever been, and uh, Bert and I have never played on one of these. Oh, look at that. Okay. That's a norm. Maybe that was a practice, uh, a practice hole back here. All right. Too cool. And it's raining again. We continue to uh, eat our way through the ship on the day three. And why not? It's 
it's past noon. It's like three minutes after noon, and uh, that allows us to uh, eat some pizza there and uh, some pepperoni, and I got some pepperoni and a cheese slice with a little bit of a ranch on there. I'm going to try that, shall we? And did you put some... Uh, There's not much to it. It's no big deal, did you put, but it's just darn good. <laughs> did you put darn some Parmesan good. on it? Huh? If, I know, you need to do that. I will. Thanks and they for just got done with the parade. We watched the parade yesterday, so well, it draws a it draws a crowd. But you know, it was it was one of the best parades that we've seen on the show. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, it was very nice. All right then. We'll see you at the next eatery. I guess we'll get past. We'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm corking it. <laughs> there it goes. Yay! Yay! Boom! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much. Okay, we're continue on eating our way through day three here, and uh, with a little bit of a, a drink. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the Concierge Club and uh, complimentary champagne. Not bad at all, huh? Not bad at all. Give it a cheers. taste there. Cheers. Ooh, ooh, cheers. Ooh, cheers. cheers. <laughs> hmm, not bad. And, uh, of course, we're still eating, too. So oh, we're not going to stop. <laughs> with champagne without cookies. Oh, yeah, sure. The cowboy cookie is like the best. I'm pretty, I know. It, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what to call it. Coconut cookie, cowboy cookie. Yeah. Uh, ranch cookie. I don't know. Everybody, but, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but whatever. Not, uh... <laughs> they're the best, especially when they're soft. Now, here's a little clue for you. If they're not soft, because sometimes they do get hard as a rock, then yeah. that's mm. when you get your cup of coffee. Ah, and then you dunk in. Yeah, you dunk them in there. And, oh, boy, that's a nice treat. There's Isn't another it? reason why I married you. <laughs> I know. Uh, and who wouldn't? We'll try this video one more time. It's so humid. How humid is it? So humid that the uh, lens gets fogged up immediately on here. But anyway, it's raining. It uh, stopped for a little bit. Uh, hopefully tomorrow in Roatan it'll uh, clear up a little bit and uh, won't be the rains and so forth. But yeah, we're barely moving. Captain said this would happen where we just slow way down going into Roatan just because he sped up to get past the rains the last uh, couple of days so there you are and there's the there's the lens getting all fogged up again wow well there's something you don't see very you see very often is a uh, cool close on a caribbean cruise at uh, 20 after 3 in the uh, afternoon or nobody in uh, the lawn chairs i wonder why they did that I don't know about the pool, but yeah, it's uh, nasty weather, so hopefully this uh, ends by uh, tomorrow. I hope so. But still a few brave souls there, mainly kids, huh? Uh, yeah. So, what are we going to do? We're going to eat again. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I hate that when that happens. Yeah, the Solarium Bistro. Why not? Yeah. We're going to change it up a little bit from one buffet to the other. What do you think of that? That sounds good to me. Okay. Empty, uh, empty chairs. And hopefully it's open. Maybe not. Maybe we'll end up going to that mini bites. Lunch, 2.30. Yep. <laughs> oh, gee, I thought we were going to eat again. <laughs> As we can see, it's closed. Yeah. So, yeah, it's raining. Raining pretty good. Oh, this is good. Look at that. <laughs> oh, now yeah. I don't want to eat. Now, well, now that the uh, Solarium Bistro isn't open, do you want to eat that? I'm on a diet now. <laughs> Strictly. All right. Well, I bet you the... Uh... Wait a <laughs> on the ship. Yeah. Oh, well. 
Let's go eat. We'll find somewhere to eat. Well, we continue on our tour of eating, eating, eating our way through day three. And uh, this is Mini Bites. There's probably two other buffets, but they were closed already. Oh no! That... I hate that when that happens. Hate it. So I'm gonna try Mini Bites out here. Yeah. It's like this good uh, crumbage. This crumbage. Okay, well, we didn't find a uh, suitable buffet like the Windjammer or the Solarium Bistro because both of them were closed. So instead, we uh, went to the uh, Mini Bites. And I think what we're going to get is more than a Mini Bite here. Uh, what do you... Oh, it's kind of good. Who's biting? Yeah, well, I did. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's Baby World there, I guess. You know, if you look at this, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Because we're all of about, uh, I don't know, three hours away from eating again. Maybe four hours. That's enough time, right? That's, that's perfect. Probably perfect. Oh, try it out there. Okay. There's definitely a problem there. Nothing dripped out all over the sides of that. That's not a good <laughs> burrito. Uh, is it good? Well, what are you doing now again? Well, let's give it a shot, shall we? Uh, <laughs> now, this is how it's properly made. Oh, okay, that, so when you take a bite, it should like sure. ooze over the side there. Oh, my. <laughs> exactly. And who's teaching who what? Oh. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to do. Oh, I see, I see. I oh. Yeah. It doesn't ooze over the side. You didn't put enough stuff in there. That's right. Oh, boy, you know... Third thing in the reason why I married you. I'm learning so much on this trip. Thank you, honey. That's right. Wow, look that's at there, huh? That's uh that's not too bad there. That's a chocolate martini. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah. <laughs> no. That's cool. No. <laughs> it's sometime this year, yeah. Hi. Let us walk out. Oh, look at there. What yeah. do you think? I don't know. What do you think? I'm not the what one drinking it. Look it. Like? <laughs> Looks like a pina colada. It is a pina colada. Yeah. But without the without the colada. Yeah. Well, it's because um, I, I have a bad ticker. You've got an issue. I have a bad heart. So I want to take care of it. And so I can't have a lot of, a lot of booze. So it's just like I can have a couple drinks and a couple without. Yeah, there you go. It's perfect. Hey, wait. Are you eating again? Look at there. I'm sure that was somebody else that was sitting here earlier. Yeah, pretty yeah. sure of that. So again, we're eating. We're eating our way through uh, day three here, <laughs> and uh, so I don't know. This is probably the fifth, sixth place we've eaten today. Sure. Why, uh, why wouldn't we? Well, for me, it's five. I think Bert six because I haven't had anything. Yeah, I don't think I will. Oh, what? No, I haven't anything today oh, at okay. the, uh, the, the concierge <laughs> club, right? We have it on film. Yeah. Well, that yes, but I'm not eating right now. See? No, you're not. Yeah. And so, yeah, I've. Uh, yeah, but look what you're missing. Martinis, yeah. Look what you're missing. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Is it pretty good? Is that the? Uh, yes, it's that sweet chili sauce. Oh, okay. I know. Yeah. I thought it was like uh, what do they call those? But, you know, chicken? <laughs> no, chicken, yeah. It must have crossed the street and got hit, huh? And I retrieved it. Yeah, very good. Yeah, again at the concierge club. And the weather is still nasty out there. Look at that. Yeah. Hoping tomorrow is a nice day because it is our, uh, the biggie as far, well, it's not the biggie, but we're going to a beach and the other, you know, uh, Costa Maya and Cozumel, we're not going to the beach. So this is a real, real, uh, and what are we doing at the beach, honey? Uh, we're just going to lay around and eat. <laughs> <laughs> we Why might not? swim if we don't see Lobster, back. though. It's a lobster. So, yeah, I know. You know. How about that? Huh? That's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Well, um, and then after this. Uh, in about an hour and a half, we're going to eat again. I'm going to have lasagna. That's why I'm not thinking I'm going to eat right now, because that's uh, pretty heavy stuff. Yes, it is. And it's yeah. country night at the, uh, lasagna, the promenade. We just had a linguine last night. Yeah, well, lasagna has the tomato sauce. Linguine had the white sauce. 
Yeah, so it makes a difference. It sure does. Yep. Chairs Club and the, the uh, Royal Club, too, whatever, Royal Lounge, they have uh, all the goodies to eat. You got surf and turf uh, over there, skewer and empanada patties, samosa, chicken drumettes. Look at that. And then you got the sauces down here and so forth. And you got some cheese sticks and meats and um, some salmon tartar tartlets. You like that? Salmon tartar. And then you, you got some cheese, more cheeses, breads, and uh, the desserts. Hazelnut chocolate cake. Oh, I mean, it really looks good, but I, I haven't been able to get through uh, dinner here. Uh, I usually leave some of my portion behind, so I don't think I'm going to eat. Maybe. Okay, I kind of go the classy route here. So, you see those things right there? Yes. If you get real close there? Yes. See the black on top of there? Yes. That's caviar. I see that. Wow. And shrimp and caviar. So, I'm kind of the uh, class of the couple here. Yeah. And I just learned something. The guy, the uh, chef I was talking to. And if, if you have green caviar, that's the better caviar. It's more expensive, number one. And I guess it uh, tastes better or something like that. We don't get it here on Harmony of the Seas. You get it on the icon of the seas, you know. <laughs> so you gotta spend more money to get that green caviar. But pretty cool. So I'm gonna have a, a, a taste of it. Shall we? Yep, we should. All right, so here we go. Let me give it a, a taste test, shall we? Sure. And no lying just so you can be posh, okay? If you wuss out because it's like, ew, I don't like it. No, I like that. You can girl. say, you, oh, I don't like it. Oh, my. Is that what you do when you're in the concierge <laughs> no, club, darling? <laughs> oh, that's very good. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. You should have some. I well, hey, you know what? I'm still sort of getting full. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, I'm just having these two little small pieces here. Uh, yeah. There's no way of doing this. Uh, no, I see that. Gracefully. No. And who said you're graceful? <laughs> so that was yay. Can you actually taste the caviar? <laughs> yeah, I figured that. So minimal. Well, have fun eating. See you at the next uh, plate. Oh. <laughs> well, the uh, concierge club it gets uh, pretty busy here. I don't know if we've been here this late. I guess we were. Maybe it's because of the weather, I guess. But you can see that uh, pretty busy here tonight. That goes into the uh, coastal kitchen over there where we ate on the first night, which was pretty tasty. We're going to go back to the main dining room, see if anybody sits with us tonight. Pretty cool. Okay, our uh, eating continues for uh, day three at sea. And this is the uh, main dining room. And it's uh, Italian night, I think, right? Yes, it is. Taste oh, of it's Italy. Ta taste of Italy, yeah. Woohoo! Or as some people would say, is idly. <laughs> What I'm curious about is how these are placed. Now, notice that the uh, the knife is on the the butter knife, right? Yes. On the plate, because we will get like yes. uh, bread and such. Do you understand any of this? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. But you, you, yeah, you work yourself, you know, left to right. You have your salad. Yeah. Salad. Dinner. Okay. Dinner meat. You have your dessert. Oh, yeah, it's that type of You dessert. have your dessert. Okay. You have your coffee stir and your knives. Huh. Or whatever you need. Just like Emily Post or Heloise. Nobody knows what any of that is <laughs> except for us. Okay, do you remember what it's called? No. But you got. <laughs> You got this beef here. Yeah. Very finely sliced. Little tiny beef with a arugula. Arugula, you did get that. Yeah. Nice That's Parmesan. Yes, Parmesan. Cheese on it. Yeah. Yes. It's like a capriccio or something like that. Oh, yes. Yeah. That might be if I can get it off the plate, it's so fine. See yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, there you go. That looks like a good bite. We'll see. Oh, the arugula.
It was a little bit like the rabbits in our backyard going after the dandelions. I know. You know what I'm talking about? Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> How is it? Well, at first I didn't taste anything. Oh. And then all of a sudden, hello. A burst of flavor. Hello. Yeah. It's good. And I got this. And I forget what it is. <laughs> oh, you're talking about me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I shall give it a try. Hi. What do I think? Yeah, it's uh, the Parmesan Arachini. Ooh. I do believe I'm pronouncing that right. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's like a, a panko. Panko? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Crust with some uh, type of rice in there, with some mushroom, and uh, yeah, it's pretty tasty. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Eh, it's on a red sauce, and I'm just not that thrilled that. I like the white sauce better. And you're going to get the seconds. She, I know. Uh, she volunteered it, yeah. Hey, I told her I really loved it. And she goes, do you want another one? It's like, well, you don't have to ask me twice. That's right. <laughs> like an instant replay. Yeah. You know, Bert got uh, volunteered to just uh, bring in a second order. Today, today is a country roundup as far as the theme is concerned. So we have, uh, this is the main dining room, by the way. And... So you see a lot of people in Western garb. See a couple of cowboy hats there? You know, so there's going to be some line dancing up this evening here in the Studio B. Again, this is the main dining room. This is the Grand, which is uh, Deck 4. Oh! Talking soul here. Yeah. Yes. Soul, huh? Yes, well, right. It's not jasmine rice. Oh, what is it? Oh. <laughs> oh, must be good, huh? So again, this is a taste of Italy tonight here at the uh, main dining room on the uh, Harmony of the Seas, and we, I have, of course, lasagna, and it looks good. I've had it before, so I know it's going to be good. And uh, looking forward to it again. To uh, reintroduce you to the uh, our guests from last night, there's uh, Claude Rains and David McCallum and Chevy Chase. Welcome. Thank you for coming back. Appreciate it. All the invisible men. So strange. So you ended up with what? A lemon tart. And? Well, you know, I should have went to tiramisu, but, you know, look at that right. little, uh, you know, uh, well, chocolate. Well, that's yeah. why you went with that, because you know you yeah. had that little chocolate sticker. Oh. Let's give it a taste try, shall we? And? Are you glad you went with it? It's actually not bad. Well, it's not supposed to be bad. Well, you got a little meringue here. Yeah, yeah, that's norm. And you got the tartness of the uh, lemon. Ooh, tartness of the lemon. Okay. Well, that all makes kind of sense, okay? And then you just finish it off with a little oh, bit of chocolate. Oh, are you a lucky guy. Mm. Now, any other man would have said, honey, do you want this? <laughs> Wow. But I'm not any other man. <laughs> Touche. Touche. After all that eating, we wrapped up Day 3 at Sea by watching the Royal Roundup Country Party in Studio B on Harmony of the Seas. Great fun.
Next up, Roatan Honduras and Turquoise Bay VIP Beach Break. Join Roberta and Greg to see if their most anticipated Caribbean excursion will be a mega hit or will their lobster dreams on a sunny beach get washed down the drain. See you then.